Hey guys, even here, and the finals finally happened, and of course, the winner was Justin Luis Rodriguez, and it's Indy Pro 2021, and third spot was actually blessing Awaribu. Take a look at him right here. What the hell happened between prejudging and the finals? So in my previous video that I just posted, basically uh, an hour ago maybe, I said that he doesn't have the density, he, has, he doesn't have the thickness, and I said he's either too flat, not carved up enough, or just too small. And I know that he's working with Chad Nichols, so I don't know what kind of protocol Chad Nichols gave him, how much sugar did he intake between prejudging and, 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 and finals, but if you take a look at that video and all the videos and the photos that I posted in my previous video, you will see that he was nowhere near this thick, this big. So, Chad filled him up nicely, very, very nicely. He came up so much and he ended up in third. And you could make an argument that he deserved to be second. And even, I mean, I could even see him winning this show right now with this look. He looks so much bigger, so much bigger, not flat at all, really full. He filled up so much between the pre-judging and the finals, this is crazy. I don't know if I ever saw this kind of transformation between pre-judging and finals. This is ridiculous, guys. So now, after making that video, saying that he might be out of top 4, might ending up at the 5th spot, him ending up at third seems like a good reward, but guys, remember, he was talking trash to Nick, uh, to Nick Walker and he was saying that he's gonna win the New York Pro and he can't even place in top two at the Indy Pro. But then again, if you take a look at the other angle, he cracked the top three at a pretty high professional level bodybuilding show at his pro debut. <laughs> this is his pro debut, he never competed as a pro before. So if you take a look at it from that standpoint, it's a great success. But, you know, considering the, the, the talk that he talked before, it's kind of disappointment. And the thing is, a lot of people bought into this whole hype about Blessing and him winning the New York Pro, you know? It's like Kevin Leveroni coming back. Some people had him winning the show, <laughs> winning the Mr. Olympia. And it's kind of the same thing right now, it's a hype train and a lot of people jump into it and now it's kind of disappointing because of that, but realistically, for a pro debut, Third spot at Indy Pro, it's actually a pretty good result. But then again, I go back and I say, you gotta admit, this is not exactly a top tier show. I mean, who are these guys? Who are the, who are the guys that took second and fourth and fifth? I mean, this is your top five. So, Carlos Chapa, Dorian Haywood, Mohamed El Emam. I mean, I only know about Justin Rodriguez and, yeah, Blessing, of course. And Justin, he's a top 10 Mr. Olympia finisher, so he did crack the top 10, he's a top 10 Mr. Olympia guy, that is something for sure, but that's not like Arnold Classic, New York Pro or something like that, it's Indy Pro, it's Indy Pro guys, and the other guys, I mean, maybe I'm not too, too big of a fan to know all these names, but honestly, I didn't know about the, the other guys that cracked that top 5, aside from these two, and I expected Morgan Aist, or Morgan Asti, correct me if I'm wrong with the pronunciation, but I expected him to be in the top 5, because he did look really impressive. He was shredded to the bone, but I guess the structure of the other guys prevailed. I mean, he does have pretty bad structure, but he has so much muscle. He's the strongest bodybuilder in the world, he's extremely strong, and he can get conditioned. But one thing he will never be able to change is the structure. That's something you're born with, and it is the way it is. Here is a pose of Blessing that doesn't really look good, I mean, this most muscular, handsome hips, he is too small for this. No, he is not, he is not too big to do this kind of a pose. This is big Rami pose, he can do this, he can pull this off, not Blessing, no, take it easy, man, no, not yet. Maybe someday, but right now, do it the way the other guys are doing it. I mean, the way Justin is doing it, probably, or a crab pose, for sure. I mean, I think anything would look better than this, this just makes him look flat, stringy. Front lat spread doesn't look as good as it looked on Instagram. I mean, his chest looks a little bit shallow, the lats not popping too much, the arms looking a little bit too small. I think this could be altered with a, with a little shift in posing, but yeah, not the best pose of his. But this one, though, this one, it's a really good pose for him. Yeah, especially now after he filled up. It looks good, he looks big. Then the other guys also look really good, but yeah, Blessing looks decent in this one. The legs don't look so bad, the arms look pretty big. Hi lads, and kind of a, a big stomach, I mean, look, he doesn't have bubble gut, he has a vacuum, but the area of the abs on his midsection takes a lot of space, and I don't really like to see that, 
But the, 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 the much, much worse scenario is with Justin Rodriguez, who won. Uh, look at his abs. I mean, look at the, the mess. Um, blasting, yeah, just takes a little bit too much space, but it's a small waist, it's pretty small waist, not really small waist, but it's it's a decent waist, and it has a vacuum, and he has symmetrical abs and everything, but Justin, I mean, this is the win there, this is the win there, I mean, this is his stomach, he deserved the win, for sure, but this was a big flaw, I mean, look at the abs, or the lack of them, or uh, the, the asymmetry, not very good, not very good, so this is the winner, and yes, I do think he deserved it, especially when you look at this pose right here, most muscular, yeah, it does look very impressive. A lot of thickness to the chest, and the shoulders, and the arms, the, the legs also came up quite a bit, the legs are big right now. So, he definitely came up with the legs, and I think he also filled up quite nicely, because he also does look more impressive in the, in the upper body. So, overall, he looks good, he looks good, I don't know how will he do at the New York Pro, probably top 3, most likely, I don't think he's gonna be out of top 3, but any spot of those top 3 spots is available for him, in my opinion. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. All the best guys and bye bye.